Hey, it's Brent with Tasso.com, and in today's vlog, I'm going to configure a new shipping PC, clean off the messy shipping desk, and make sure all the software works on this new PC. I got this PC for free. Well, first of all, here is the shipping desk, which is a disaster. Going to have that cleaned off, and uh, there's the the actual PCs down there. It, it's three or four years old and barely works. And it's a crucial part of our business because it runs our shipping software as well as our laser, uh, which is right over there. And it customizes our wooden products. So the laser is a big part of the, the business and the software that it uses to run that laser. It just completely chokes that PC down. So I haven't worked on a Windows PC in probably four or five years, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, I just got it opened up. There's all the garbage there, and there's the new black box, which seems like I'm going back in time like 10 years when I open that after all the Macs that I've been using. But we'll get that configured, and then I'll show you some of the software that I use to do the shipping. All right, so I've got the PC connected over there and uh, I'm working on configuring it, but I wanted to tell you how I got the PC. So we're a small e-commerce business, as you know, um, and we ship through UPS and FedEx. Um, and UPS came to us with a, what they call a technology program. So through the technology program, they give you a grant or, or a what is it, a loan or something for technology um, based on your volumes that you send. So basically this PC uh, and the monitor were free um, and it's a credit that we got from UPS. So, you know, everybody likes a free computer. So um, if you ship with UPS, uh, and I don't know if FedEx has this too, but if you ship with UPS, Go ahead and ask them about their technology program. Maybe you can get some updates on some of the technology that you have out, out in your warehouse. Uh, I know that the old PC that we had wouldn't run WorldShip. We needed WorldShip for some of our UPS freight stuff. So it's going to be nice to have that out here. Um, so it feels like I went back in time with this little black box and this cheap black keyboard. And everything feels so cheap and plastic. But it, it's going to get the job done. Um, out here in the warehouse running the software that we do. So let me uh, clear all this off and uh, get it going. Okay, so the first piece of software that I need to configure is uh, called ShipStation. And ShipStation is our hub uh, basically for all of our orders to go into from our, our website, Tasso.com. And on Tasso, we use the Shopify platform. So there's an app that you install on Shopify connects you right over to ShipStation. When you open ShipStation, all your orders are automatically in there. You can configure it for multiple channels too, so it pulls in our Amazon orders. Um, it can pull in our phone orders that we enter through the back end of Shopify. Um, we've got FedEx, UPS, and USPS rates configured within ShipStation, so we get a real-time accurate rating uh, of the cost per package. So the next piece of the puzzle out here on this warehouse PC would be our epilogue laser. And that's right over here. And there's some job manager software on there and some different things. So let me get this configured, see if I can get it working before, before I take off this afternoon and maybe tackle that desk in the morning. But um, let me work on this for a bit and I'll check back with you. All right, so after I would say about an hour on the phone with Epilogue support, which was wonderful by the way, uh, we got this configured. Uh, there were a lot of settings and a lot of IP address stuff that I didn't understand that wasn't really documented out very well in their instructions. So they walked me through it and I think I have the epilogue configured on the new on the new PC here. So I've got a job. I sent it to the job manager here and we'll try to print it. And hopefully 
it works. So let's head over to the laser. I've got a test piece of wood in there, and this is just a test job. So I see the job there. So it, it actually communicated with it. I'm gonna turn the vent on, and let's see if it goes. It wasn't too hard. It seems to be working. I'm gonna let this run through and uh, see how we did. All right. Sorry if I'm jumping around a lot today. Got a lot lot to do on this uh, warehouse it's getting late everybody's already gone but uh, this is the kind of stuff that needs to get done after hours in a small shop like this so when everybody comes in in the morning their their stuff all works everything's connected and we can get those orders out so it's kind of an after hours job and I don't really have the personnel during the day to pull somebody off of another project so it's just what you do when you run a, a small e-commerce business so um, I'm going to tackle this desk. That uh, laser job is still printing so I can see if that's configured correctly. And I'm going to start moving wires and hopefully not screw anything up. All right, so I am going to interrupt this time lapse of me working on the desk here, making some progress. But I'm going to go check that print job and the laser to make sure everything's configured OK there. Vent off. And let's take a look. Seems to be working. That's a relief because that is something that I didn't really understand too much before, but it wasn't that difficult once you dove in and took a little call to support and it's all set so now back to the disaster desk okay making some progress found the bottom of the desk all that crap was under there i didn't even know we had a paper shredder apparently there's one under there there's like a little bit of everything like 25 extra cables i don't know anyway I think I got it configured. Let's see, I just turned it on. All right, so I swapped out the cable. Actually, I swapped the whole monitor out and seems to be working. I am a sweaty mess. It's getting dark out here. And I forgot what the password was. It should click save, but I didn't. So I'm back in Shipworks now, just going to test, print some stuff out that, uh, packing slip. It's been about 45 minutes and I couldn't print. I've uninstalled and installed everything, the printer, the software. And then I looked down and I never plugged the printer in. <laughs> uh, I can't make this stuff up. I really didn't have the printer plugged in. So I'm gonna plug it in and give it a try. All configured and working now so we can ship out tomorrow. The laser's all set up and working. I didn't get a chance to clear off the desk, but uh, overall, I think it was successful. We got the new computer in and we'll work through the bugs in the morning. But um, I'm signing off tonight, closing up and getting out of here, but I will be back bright and early in the morning.